What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and it is Survivor Series Edition. If you guys enjoyed the intro or enjoy what you see here, go follow SM underscore battle underscore stories on Instagram or get some work done yourself. So in today's video, guys, I do have another WWE action figure set up for you guys. And we got the whole new backstage arena field here with WWE superstars leading up to the events that are going to take place at Survivor Series 2018. I'm very excited for the pay-per-view. Lots of great matchups on this card. I cannot wait for it. So let's go ahead and dive into the setup. I'll take you guys through all of the details we got here today, guys. So let's go ahead and get started in the corner. So starting out in the corner, guys, we do have the SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions, The Bar. You know, they did retain their championships versus the New Day at Crown Jewel. You know, they're set to take on the Authors of Pain uh, in a champion versus champion matchup. Obviously, that's what Survivor Series is all about. So, uh, we got the bar over here chilling it, you know, talking about what they're going to do. We do have two heel tag teams going head-to-head. -head, so, it should be a great match. I hope they give them enough time in this thing. I think that Authors of Pain is a magnificent tag team. They haven't been used on the main roster up to their level of standard, in my opinion. So, hopefully, in this matchup, they give them time and they can get a good match with the bar here. And I hope that they, you know, set the bar high. Coming over here, we have Alexa Bliss, guys, the team captain of Monday Night Raw's Survivor Series women's 5-on-5 five -five traditional matchup, and she's pretty much just scouting out the field. She doesn't really know who she's going to have on her team just yet. We're going to find out tonight on Monday Night Raw, hopefully, because, you know, Survivor Series is this Sunday, but uh, she's just sort of scoping out the locker room area, looking for some teammates that she can team up with, so looking forward to see who they plug in on her team here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Just behind them, you will see the duo of Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush, his right-hand man. You can see where Bobby Lashley has just taken off his regular t-shirt and he's handing it to his boy Leo Rush because he has his Monday Night Raw shirt on. I think that tonight on Monday Night Raw, Bobby Lashley will be a confirmed participant in the Survivor Series traditional 5-on-5 matchup. So that's what I'm predicting. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of Bobby Lashley right now. His work has just been awful. As a kid, I loved him, but here lately, guys, he is just absolute Bobby Trashley. But uh, we'll see what goes on there. If we go to the back corner, you will see Ronda Rousey, the Raw Women's Champion, and Becky Lynch, Stone Cold Becky Lynch, my girl Becky Lynch. And Ronda Rousey's sticking out a hand there, guys. You can see she's trying to shake Becky's hand. And look at Becky. She's just smiling in her face because she's like, I'm going to whoop you at Survivor Series. And she's just being Stone Cold Becky Lynch. So she's just smiling in her face, not shaking her hand. And uh, I can't wait for that matchup. I think it's a great one. I would love to see Becky win or at least not have Becky tap out. At least, the, or, I don't know. They need to keep Becky looking great here. So hopefully that's how that matchup goes down but that is ronda rousey and becky lynch in the corner if we drag it over to the middle you guys will see we have the united states champion shinsuke nakamura and we have the intercontinental champion seth freaking rollins he's uh sitting there they're talking it up and uh, seth rollins has got a smirk on his face you know he's saying can't wait for the matchup and uh, shinsuke is just sort of grill grinning and throwing his hands up like yeah whatever bro i'm i'm gonna just low blow you kinshasa and it's over but hopefully these two put on a great matchup you know they both can go in the ring so i hope that uh again they give these guys time to let them go in there and establish a good matchup and seth rollins and shinsuke can usually put on any great match with anybody so Hopefully that is what happens here. So Seth Rollins and Shinsuke talking it up in their champion versus champion matchup leading to Survivor Series. Speaking of champion versus champion, guys, we have the WWE champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles, taking on the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. You can see both champions holding up their titles in their faces. You can see the fiery passion of Brock Lesnar. Hopefully this matchup is as good as their first matchup in last year's Survivor Series. Um, I thought this was one of the best matches of the year, hands down, between these guys. So AJ Styles hopefully can talk Brock into giving him a good match again and uh, let AJ lead that thing. You know it's going to be great, but you got both the phenomenal one and the beast staring down each other getting hyped for their matchup, so we're going to see which brand's champion comes out on top over there at Survivor Series. Absolutely can't wait for this match. Probably my most hyped for match um, is this one next to uh, Seth and Shinsuke, but as we come to the middle, guys, 
you will see we have Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman trying to get to the captain of Monday Night Raw, Baron Corbin. Obviously, Baron Corbin cost Braun Strowman the championship, the Universal Championship of Crown Jewel. And he's trying to get revenge here as Finn Balor. Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler all on Team Raw. They're trying to defend uh, Baron Corbin, you know, trying to prevent Braun Strowman from absolutely killing him. And uh, the reason Finn Balor's on the team is because I think he absolutely deserves it. I don't think that Finn Balor needs to be left off of Monday Night Raw's team. So he is here in the t-shirt, and that's what I think will be the final member of Monday Night Raw. Hopefully that's true, and hopefully he gets put on the team here tonight on Monday Night Raw, guys, because if he doesn't, then Finn Balor, just another wasted opportunity for him. Uh, it, it's just sad to see. Uh, you guys know how I feel about Finn Balor. It's just so sad. I love Finn, and it's just trash how they treat him. But just beyond that, we do have Shane McMahon, and he's getting in his sister's face, and he's like, I'm the best in the world. I'm going to show you. Team SmackDown all the way is going to take down Monday Night Raw, and Paige is there, and Stephanie's just sort of looking at him like an idiot because he uh, looked like an absolute moron in the World Cup tournament, but uh, he's the best in the world now, so what what does it matter? Um, as we come behind Baron Corbin, you can see Team SmackDown sort of just staring at Monday Night Raw like, what are you freaking doing, bro? With, with, like uh, you, got, you got Braun Strowman attacking your own captain and everything, and Team SmackDown trying to keep it together here with The Miz, Daniel Bryan, and Rey Mysterio. You got three members right there. And then if you look in the corner, you have Samoa Joe not giving an F. He doesn't care about his team, guys. He's just there to kick some ass, take out Monday Night Raw. And uh, he's not fooling around with it. He's just sort of looking back there, cracking his knuckles, getting going, while his teammates and the rest of his team look on at Monday Night Raw falling apart over there. So that's what we got going with Team SmackDown and Raw. Over here we have the injured section. We have my boy Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. You know, uh, Kevin, Sir, uh, Kevin Owens had two knee surgeries at the same time, and uh, he's recovering here in the wheelchair. He's got some bandages wrapping up his knees. Hopefully he comes back strong. I love Kevin Owens, one of my favorites ever, and uh, I think that he needs to have a good baby face. Or he'll run when he comes back. I don't really care. He can do anything. He's amazing. To me, he's a tweener anyway because I pop every time. He's an absolute baller. And, of course, his buddy, his best friend, Sami Zayn, there with the shoulder sling on because uh, he's injured as well. So both guys are out right now. They'll probably return together, hopefully very, very soon. I know that Kevin Owens is supposed to be out like eight months. Hopefully that's not true. Hopefully he can get back in the swing of things because I miss Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn so much already. But uh, they are chilling in the setup. Couldn't leave them guys out of here. Just beyond that, we do have Asuka and Naomi there on Team SmackDown for the traditional 5-on-5 five -five women's match. And they're just looking for their teammates. They don't know where Sonya Deville or Carmella or anybody is. So they're just sort of talking it up, like, where's our teammates, yada, yada, yada. Um, I figured I'd throw some SmackDown chicks in here. So we got SmackDown Live's women represented right there. Over here in the corner, we have the Raw Tag Team Champions, the AOP. We got the Authors of Pain, Akum and Rezar. And they're just preparing for their Bar Championship matchup. Uh, between champion versus champion here against the SmackDown Live tag title, uh, SmackDown Live tag team champions, and they're just sort of chilling, you know, doing what AOP does. Drake Maverick nowhere in sight, so they're just kind of chilling out. I know he looks a little awkward looking or uh, sitting down on this thing here, but uh, it's not a big deal to me. Um, he actually is sitting on that. I know it looks a bit awkward, but I think that's just the way the figures are. But they're just chilling here. I know I had to have the Raw tag titles in here, so uh, AOP's just chilling, waiting on their matchup. Over here we have the Usos and the New Day, and they are uh, sort of just talking up what they're going to do for that five on five. That this this matchup is kind of dumb, guys. I mean, why they're just trying to fit everyone they can on this show. So they were like, put New Day, Usos, and three other SmackDown teams, and then have a five on five tag team match. I think that's going to be absolute madness, and I think it's going to be crazy. I don't even know five tag teams on SmackDown or Raw. Like, can you name them? Uh, I know that uh, you got Sanity, you got the Club. You got, what, the Fashion Police, you got uh, on Raw, you have, you know, the, the B Team, you got uh, the Revival, you got uh, AOP, who already has a match. Um, I don't know, so I, I, I don't know, the, the Ascension, Bobby Roode and Chad Gable, they've been feuding for every single week since freaking uh, the last pay-per-view, so I, I don't know, man. Not a very wise match in my opinion. But uh, we'll, we'll just see what happens. But you got the tag teams talking it up right there. And then to finish off our setup, we have my boy Randy Orton. And he is, uh, you can see, he's sort of halfway out the door right there. Um, if you zoom out, it's kind of funny. Oh, my God, I knocked over three people. But that, that's, no, that's no big deal. But Randy Orton's over here in the back. He is chilling up, watching from afar. I think it's rumored that he's supposed to miss Survivor Series. So that's kind of unfortunate. I would have loved for him to be on Team SmackDown. Um, I hope it's not true. I hope he gets involved somehow. You know, I don't care what he does. Just come out and RKO Rey Mysterio or do something. Cost Rey Mysterio. His, uh, eliminate Rey Mysterio from the traditional 5-on-5 match would be fine with me. 
but hopefully he is not going to miss the entire show. But uh, that pretty much does it for the setup, guys. I know Baron Corbin trash ruining the setups every single time, knocking over the Miz and then Sami Zayn like a domino effect. But that pretty much does it for this action figure setup, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I love doing the setups. It's fun to do some creativity and set things up and put some clothes on them and sort of interact with the figures and pose them around and stuff like that. Vindication episode number 10 is coming very, very soon, so you guys can look forward to that. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of Survivor Series, what you think of NXT TakeOver War Games, what you think of the setup itself. And I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Trash.